Beware! The mollusks are coming! Awesome! Wow! This is my office. Come on in and I'll show you some specimens. The coolest part about my job is that I get to study any mollusk that I want and our collections are huge here at the museum. We have over four million specimens. Check out my new snail. Patrick, your snail is a rock. In nature, mollusks use slime in all sorts of ways. Probably the most common is snails use slime on their foot, so that's the bottom of their body, to slime along either on land or in the ocean. Um, other snails use slime um, if they're slugs. They have sort of uh, poisonous slime that when something tries to eat them, their slime is disgusting. Other snails use slime in, in really unusual ways. My very favorite specimen that we have in the museum is a snail called Janthina Janthina, and it's a purple bubble shell. You can see that it's two colors, light on the bottom and purple on the top. And the reason I say bottom and top is because it lives upside down. Janthina Janthina floats in the ocean with its shell below it and a raft of bubbles that it makes out of slime on the top. Wow. One of the other things that I got interested in because I study mollusks, in particular sea slugs, they're very brightly colored and they have interesting sort of wavy patterns sometimes on their, their body. They're called parapodia. So I sometimes crochet sea slugs for fun. As you do. The most important thing for kids to do if they want to be a scientist is to maintain that curiosity. So keep asking questions about the natural world. The more you do that, the more set up you are to be a scientist. Ah, gee, Gary, you sure are smart. Did you think my shell was full of hot air? 